It's all good. Love it. What's going on guys? Hello and welcome back to another episode of Mal. What we do? Hunting, fishing, camping. Everything, of course. Today it's about 3 in the morning. So today I'm getting geared up to go fishing on Lake Michigan. And hopefully catch a king. Do some catch and cooking. You know, the drill. Oh, and in case you guys were wondering, yeah, I did, I did, I did sleep in the back of the truck last night. Testing my agility this morning. All right. Well, good morning, sir. How are you? How are you today? Great. We're like an hour late, though. All right. So for those of you that are new to the channel, that's my buddy Spencer. Uh, he's a full-time guide out here on Lake Michigan. He uh, lives up here in Door County, and we're targeting some salmon today. Do it, bud. Let's do it, dude. First time out this year. First time out for me ever fish. out on Lake Michigan. For really? Salmon. Yeah. Salmon are late this year. They're like two to three weeks late. Uh, I have not been out. A couple of my buddies have. They're catching a few of them right now, but not lots for, at all. Um, but the early in the year, like right now, is when you see like traditionally your biggest fish of the year. So that's kind of where we're after. We're not after like five or six salmon. We literally want to catch one salmon. So you, you cook the big ones too, right? It's all of them. No <laughs> salmon get released ever. Look at the bait already, oh my goodness. So I don't have any of my stuff like dialed in yet for like uh, coloration or anything. But um, that's a lot of bait. <laughs> hey Mark, mm -hmm. here's how you control the throttle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, listen to me. Mm -hmm. I don't have my power steering hooked up, okay? So when you turn this wheel, watch it. Everything turns, okay? But when I tell you to turn, I don't want you to hammer on it. If you ever, if I ever do tell you to turn hard, just ease into it. When you turn that wheel a little bit, it's a lot. So when I say go left, go right, just a little bit goes a long ways. And this one on there too? What? This one too? Yeah. All right, guys, it got a little bit hectic there. Spencer trusted me in driving his boat. Really don't know why, but we ended up getting... What we got here? Six rods? Eight rods? Eight rods. Six. You're allowed three in Wisconsin, three apiece. We three got piece. six rods. Oh, we do have six. Yeah, I can't count. Can't count, bud. Good job. Operating on one brain cell, like I said, bud. All right, well, got the salmon rods out. We've only been out here for 30 minutes? 30 minutes with our line set? Probably. And, probably. Yeah, probably around that. And uh, we're going to keep trolling. We're going to probably give it till, what, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. But one thing that's an honorable mention is how damn calm it is out here right now. Yeah. Never like this, ever. It's still early too, like we're still early in the year, meaning not a lot of fish have showed up yet, so if we catch one or two, that's that's good for right now. Oh, fish, 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 fish. Oh, it came off. No, nope. it's still there. You want to slow down? Nope, nope. Yeah, we got him, bud. Do it at me. Oh my god. A giant dude. dude it's, uh oh, with the board sunk. That's not Shit. good. You gotta go right. Okay. Hey Marv. Yeah. When I get this board off, I'm gonna give you the rod. Actually, what you want? No, I'll take the board off. No, 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 I got the board. It's a tricky one. Do you want me to reel the fish in or do you want to just film? I'll just film, dude. I'm gonna take this board off for Marv. Um, I don't know how big this fish is. It seems big. The board, these boards are tricky to get off. I have a special clip on them that allows me to run them for salmon. Just keep your tip down a little bit, put the tip right to the water. So I'm gonna take the board off. I might grab the rod back, Marv might take, I don't think this fish knows he's hooked, so we got a little bit of a fight here. Okay, pick that rod tip up. Pick it up, pick it up high. Don't pick that board, walk back. Yep. 
fight it or you want me to fight it? You got it. You sure? I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you, you grabbed it. That, that. You grabbed it at the beginning, so. I'd rather have you freaking catch it. Oh, he's still oh, way back yeah. there. Look at him. Yeah. Oh, look at him shark fin. Oh, that's so big one, dude. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, I missed salmon fishing. I was so sick of bass fishing. Oh, look at the power on that thing. So this is copper line, as you can see the coloration of it. What copper is, it's kind of like a lead core line, it's weighted. So when that, when that copper's in the water, it's giving off a ton of vibration in the water, meaning it's making a ton of noise. Salmon are super, the way they feed, they're super aggressive, so they want lots of noise and, and disturbance in the water, and that's what this copper line gives. right there big one that's like a 25 26 27 pounder that's wicked that is wicked that's what you come out here for baby so good if we don't catch another one all day I don't care that's a giant so Maverick and I just caught this stud one really important thing to do with salmon most people keep these fish because they're super good table fare I'm gonna put them in my live well for now one of the most important things to do is bleed them meaning cut their gills and get all the blood out of their meat that's just gonna help it when it comes time to eat it it's not as big of a mess when it comes to cleaning, but more importantly, it takes all the impurities out of the meat and it makes it for such a much fresher flavor. So, so I just have a bass scale. I don't even have a legitimate salmon scale, but this should work. Let's see how big this thing is. But what I figured, 24, 24, 7, 24, 3, 24, 6, about a 24 and a half pounder. <laughs> all right, guys, well, Spencer just cleaned up that salmon. Um, Excellent looking filet, super fat meat. We're gonna have some nice salmon steaks on the uh, the grill later. That's one fish. We only <laughs> caught one today. It's still really early in the year. I'm gonna I'm... go pull a Karma card, and uh, my buddy's running a salmon chart right now, and his boat died. So we're gonna go jump his boat for him. For all you folks at home, always help your buddies on the water. Uh, when you need help one day, they'll be there for you. What goes around comes around. I hurt my boat. In my I'll put a nice, a nice love tap in there for you. Watch that front part. Yeah. Okay, I got that. Okay, dryer belt. Holy yeah. shit. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Spence almost took a tumble right into the lake. Buddy. Yeah, be careful. All right, now this is gonna be interesting because we're on a sandy beach right now, trying to launch this boat. It's pretty washed out, and uh, I'm not really sure we're gonna be able to get out of here.
<laughs> no way. All right, I don't know about you guys, but I think that what just happened there was pretty dang incredible. It's about 10 o'clock now. I'm so tired. I've been up since 3.50 this morning. Uh, got into Sturgeon Bay last night, like I said, at 1.30, 1 or 1.30, so I'm running on some low sleep. Super happy that we got a salmon. It's, it's definitely the biggest king salmon I've ever seen. This is super giant, gargantuan, just freaking huge mongo. And I can't believe the meat that we got off it. Um, one of Spencer's buddies is coming up tonight, so we're gonna grill up some steaks, I think. Um, we're gonna try to draft up a new recipe. Whoa. Whoa. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put these fish on the grill for, uh, like probably like, it's tough to say on time, but when the, when the, when the, we'll show you too, but when the meat starts to pull away is when it's done, but 350 to 400 for like, probably like 15, 20 minutes. That's how I do it. Oop. But the nice thing when you have a paper bag is that you don't have a mess in your grill. Well, yeah. If you let it cool, you just pick up the skin and it comes up like a potato chip. And there's what no mess. Nice grill. I've never done this without paper underneath the skin. But my buddy Chris, who's super, super good salmon fisherman, he's done this before. And uh, said it's legit. Chris, got a little hot. Oh, it's fine. So, no, so... I, you, it all I, I actually, you want that to char in the bottom like that. Look Perfect. at this shirt. Can you put this shirt back there? Let's get a little product shot in here. Oh, oh, but Who's oh, that? Oh, who does that? Oh, I don't know who that is. That's me, homie! <laughs> what? Did you get a fork over there? No. Oh, shoot, the bag. <laughs> Whoa, that almost went all on the ground, hey? Oh, <laughs> imagine that. Fuck. We'd have been chewing gravel. Look at this. We're even going to eat all this. My God. I don't know how we're going to eat all this. Dude! You're not allowed in. So Spencer's buddy Chris just brought over some venison. He's been marinating it all day, and uh, so we're gonna have a little surf and turf, I guess. Right now I'm scrounging for service in Spencer's warehouse. It's few and far between. Let me tell you. Well, I'm charging. Don't have service. Sorry, mom. Can't respond to your text. <laughs> like, they're done. What'd you marinate these in? I don't know. Try and do it. See how it comes up all nice. When here this just sticks under this. Duff and your mom's car is too small. So I have to go to that? You You didn't have much of it to begin with. Why did you say you stay at home? That's what you told me too. Stay down there. I bought that. I couldn't find your house, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Mm. Story of my life. That salmon's all right. What's your name? I can't remember. It's a pretty big one. Not the best eater. It's pretty all right for early. Just Ooh. tossing it on the grill. From the water of Lake Michigan to our plate now. Salmon's really want some pretty halfway fish. decent. Spence, I think. Uh, is it all you have? Is I think we have uh, some some room to work with tomorrow though. What, salmon? Oh, yeah. yeah. We're going to catch a lemon tomorrow. We're going to catch a lemon tomorrow, but we're also going to smoke some up. So, tastes awesome. A little, a little surf and turf, can't complain. But, it does the dishwasher work? Makes me excited to uh, get some smoked salmon tomorrow. So, thank you so guys so man. much for tuning in this episode of Mav. Until yeah, next time, my name is Maverick, and you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking.